Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. So a very interesting storyline has started to develop with the Indiana Pacers as the Pacers have recently offered Victor Oladipo a four-year $80 million contract extension in which he was actually kind of insulted by. So now it does have teams kind of like monitoring the situation of the Pacers and Oladipo and uh, potentially looking out for a trade this NBA offseason with him only having one year left uh, on his contract, right guys? So before we get going on today's video, video if you guys don't mind dropping a like on it man trying to hit that 1000 like mark and also you guys have been showing so much crazy support in that subscribe button guys if you are one of the 51 percent of people that watch my videos that are not subscribed you don't mind hitting that subscribe button help me grow the channel guys trying to get 300,000 subscribers by the end of the year it would be greatly greatly appreciated in a time where it's really hard to grow a youtube channel man due to the nba season being suspended right okay so before we get going on this video, obviously for this video, we are going to trade Oladipo, uh, which is obviously one of the scenarios that could happen. But let me give you guys my thoughts and opinions on the situation at hand. So I kind of understand where both sides are coming from, because obviously Victor Oladipo came off of a pretty major injury. I mean, it was a major injury. And, uh, you know, in the select sample size we got from his return from injury, he wasn't really playing all that great, averaging like 13 points, like... I'm pretty low shooting percentages out there, which is completely fine. The guy was out of basketball for over a year, so it's kind of what you would expect. Um, so, if Victor Oladipo, by declining this extension, is kind of betting on himself that, hey, he can get back to his all-star form and he can get a lot of money after this season, right? Which, of course, you know, he would deserve because before he was injured, um, this guy was a top shooting guard in the entire NBA. So, it definitely makes sense where he's trying to get that, you know, that contract money. Look at this season, 23 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals per game. Now, on the same time, though, you could definitely see where... The Pacers would be a little reluctant to give this guy like a max contract just because for one they're paying a lot of money to guys like Miles Turner and Sabonis but at the same time and even Malcolm Brogdon too right man so um even with that it's like yo you give him that contract and then maybe you have like a John Wall situation where this guy doesn't really return to form although John Wall says he's gonna be back, uh, back soon and better than ever before so the thing that makes me very nervous for Oladipo in this case is that while he's already kind of gotten like a large contract in the past, so financially, he should be good for the rest of his life. Um, I would hate it to be like a DeMarcus Cousins situation where this guy declines a pretty damn large contract and just has injury issues and never gets that large contract ever again, right, man? So yeah, definitely is kind of a scary thought. But uh, for this video... Since the rumor is that other teams are monitoring the situation, we are going to trade him away. Now, Pacer fans, don't freak out. I'm not saying that's 100% going to happen. Um, it's more so just like a scenario of the video and kind of like what type of value, you know, the Old Depot is worth in a trade. Because the Pacers actually... Be, you know, without Oladipo, they were a pretty damn good team. So you think if you can get like a good young S for him or something like that, that would help the team out a lot too, right? Just because they're already in a really good situation. So as far as like talent wise, I don't really see him getting equal value back just because for one, he's an expiring deal. Um, guys like that typically don't have the greatest trade value, but also coming off a major injury. So I think if they can get a good young player out of it, that would definitely be the way to go. So let's go ahead, hit up the trade finder, uh, see what's offered up for us right here on this one year deal for $21 million. We are in the off season so that helps too uh we got tobias harris i mean they ain't gonna pay toby 34 million dollars if they don't want to pay victor oladipo more than 20 million dollars right uh we got george hill brooke lopez that doesn't really help zach levine kind of interesting um i don't know if the bulls would do this trade though plus we also have to give up a first round draft pick, which i really don't want to do we got larry nance and jetty osmond daniel tice robert williams uh zubac and patrick beverly Jonas Valachunas, we really don't need another big guy on this team. Uh, we got Clint Capella, no. Tyler Hero, this actually makes a bit of sense, man. Because Tyler Hero, another guy that's had like his own share of injuries in his rookie season. But before the injuries, this guy was literally a straight up bucket, man. I mean, I think he fits in instantly with this Pacers team. But at the same time, you know, uh, Victor Oladipo going to the Miami Heat for his season, playing with Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo, like assuming Victor returns the form, that is one of the better big threes in the entire NBA. Plus, we also do get a second round draft pick out of it. Um, I'm definitely leaning towards this trade, just getting the good young player and Tyler Hero out of it, man. Now, I, I know Pacer fans are probably freaking out about it, but, uh, you know, you kind of have to like, it, 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 it's very hard to be clear-sighted and open-minded when it's a you know a person you're a really big fan of on your basketball team but to me this is actually a really good trade uh we got miles bridges and cody zeller um not bad i mean miles bridges would definitely be an interesting project 
uh bogdanovich okay i mean he was on this team before he was a goat right buddy healed uh once again like same song and dance where it's 24 million dollars that's more than they're even willing to give oladipo but at the same time buddy Hield does not have the injury history of oladipo you kind of know what you're gonna get mitchell robinson kyle kuzma alex caruso terrence ross uh dwight powell delon right cares levert also injury history Gary Harris, Monte Morris, if you want to go for two really good players. And then uh, the Denver Nuggets do get like a star player, potentially with Victor Oladipo. Uh, we got Drew Holiday on a winner deal, Derek Rose, OG and Anobi. Okay, okay, Robert Covington, Lamarcus Aldridge, Ricky Rubio. All right, I mean, so you've got to we go over the draft pick. I think I'd rather have Tyler Hero, though, than I would rather have the uh, eighth pick in the draft. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one team that I did not see listed, or maybe no, I did see listed, it was the Hawks. I actually do think Oladipo would be a great friend on that team, not for Clint Capella necessarily, but uh, just somebody to put alongside Trey Young. They got a good, a lot of good young players that they could also offer up and also draft picks to the Indiana Pacers in exchange for Oladipo. But I think I am going to go ahead and do this Tyler Hero trade and try to make Tyler Hero like the next like star of this team. I think that'd be a lot of fun to do for this video, and uh, I think Hero is definitely an underrated player. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that trade right there. Also get the draft pick out of it. That's great. And uh, yeah, we add a really solid player to the team. Then in the long term, I really hope to develop to be a superstar, right? Alrighty, so let's go ahead and go to, I guess, staff signing. Make sure we have a good trainer. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves a Randy Mark, who's got A-, minus, so that should be good for like two or three training camps, uh, which we definitely got to use on Hero to get him even better. And there we go. So he signed up. Uh, let's go ahead, hit up this NBA draft now. I don't know what pick we have in it, but, uh, you know, hopefully it's something decent. They were in the playoffs in this video, so, yeah, it's not gonna be, like, the greatest pick in the world, but, uh, damn, we don't got a first-round pick. Never mind! No first-round pick for the Indiana Pacers. So, 19 trade offers. Yeah, we're not gonna view those. But, uh, looking at the highest-rated player available, we got Clark Coleman. Yeah, I don't care about you, bro, at all. Okay, let's go ahead some way to the end right here. You are not gonna be on my team. Alrighty, so uh, let's go ahead. Rookie signings. Yep, nothing going on there. Team player options. All right, uh, nothing with that. Qualifying offers. Eliza Johnson. We'll go ahead and bring him back on the team on the minimum deal. All right, moratorium period. So money wise, don't really have a lot to, um, you know, do as far as free agency. Just we don't really have the money, man. So let's go to our roster. See what we actually need. Um, I do think for this season, I am going to rock with the Sabonis Miles Turner front court yet again and just see what we can do with it now if it proves to just not work i do see myself eventually i don't know because miles turner he definitely doesn't get a lot of respect in 2k but i do think he's very underrated but like in this case only an 80 overall like hopefully he goes up in rating a little bit that would definitely be nice but uh yeah man uh we got we're good at like the backup point guard spot um i guess you know goga I could see myself putting him into the G League and developing him, and that would allow us to maybe trade Miles Turner down the road. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a nice uh, veteran starting, or a uh, backup center, I should say. Maybe like a, I guess that would be cool with uh, JaVel McGee, maybe for like two-year contract. I'll give him that right there, see if he uh, accepts that deal. And uh, there we go, man, JaVel McGee as the new backup center for this team, and then Goga will go to the G League. So, besides for that, though, not really a lot more going on this offseason. I'm going to go ahead and do my training camps to give them Tyler Hero, probably Sabonis, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so here is the team going into the beginning of the regular season. We've got Brogdon. Tyler Hero is going to get the start over Jeremy Lamb. Just how I got to start investing him as a player. Uh, TJ Warren at the three, Sabonis at the four, and Miles Turner at the five. Now an 82 overall, so at least he did go up in rating a little bit. Uh, JaVale McGee off the bench with Jeremy Lamb, TJ McConnell, and Dougie McBuckets right there for a nine-man rotation. And then, of course, we got the rest of the guys out there. I'm kind of tempted to give Aaron Holiday some minutes, but it's like I'm kind of cool with TJ McConnell just for right now anyway, so... Um, I'm thinking it might be, man, he had a really good season though. Nine points, three assists. Like I would hate to toss him to the G league just, but it's like, if he's not playing, we might as well put him there and develop him. Right. Just cause like TJ is good for at least one more season here. So I think that's probably going to have to be the uh, choice we have to make. But first we got to put go guy in there. There we go. Um, assigned to the Fort Wayne mad ants and also Aaron holiday. Okay. Let's go ahead and sign a free agent so we can actually do that real quick. Um, don't really care who we sign. Don't really have a lot of money. So yeah, let me go ahead and just go with uh, Juan Toscano. I think he was on the Golden State Warriors before. And there we go. He happily accepts that offer. Or maybe it was just... He just... I don't know if it was happily, but yeah. All right. And then we are going to put Holiday into the G League. There we go. There we go. All right, man. So we should be good to go for this season. Very curious how they do. We got the grit and grind system. See if anything else works out better than that. Um, not really. So grit and grind is the way to go. So, yeah, man, going to go ahead and simulate this NBA season. I am expecting this team to be, like, good. 
but I hope they can be great. Like I'm hoping maybe like a top four seed in the Eastern Conference. Let's go ahead and see how the team does. Okay, so a record of 47 and 34. Definitely not a bad record. That's kind of what I would expect out of this team, but I also wouldn't be surprised if they got maybe to like the lower 50s. Uh, one more game against the Toronto Raptors, simulate through date, and finish with a W on the season. So we got Giannis MVP, Lamella Ball as rookie of the year, Dennis Schroeder, six man Kawhi Leonard defensive player, Porzingis most improved, and Lloyd Pierce as coach of the year. So all NBA first, all NBA second, and all NBA third teams. There we go. And uh, yeah, we are the third seed in the Eastern Conference. So definitely a tight rate uh, race out east. But I'm very... Yo, how did Miami do? Uh, Miami actually did not make the playoffs, guys. That's very shocking, actually. But uh, player stats on the season. So we got Sabonis at 20 points, 13 rebounds, 3 assists per game. And then we got Tyler Hero as a focal point of the offense. 18 points, 4 rebounds per game, guys. Also shooting about 38% from 3. So yeah, instantly putting up amazing scoring numbers, right? I mean... You compare that to Oladipo, and it's like, it's not that far off. Obviously, maybe the defense isn't going to be as good, but uh, still really good. TJ Warren at 18 points. He played absolutely fantastic. So happy to have him for another two seasons. Brogdon, I love the eight assists. Miles Turner. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, I think Miles Turner, like, I don't even need to trade him. Because, sure, the scoring's not there. But you got all these, you know, got three guys averaging 18 points. Because... You go beyond the scoring with him. You know, the rebounding is fine. It could be a little better, but Sabonis kind of has that covered anyway. But it's the defense that I absolutely love about this guy. I think he's one of the most underrated defenders in the entire NBA. Um, so, I guess maybe we have an opportunity to maybe trade JaVel, JaVel McGee or go guy can play power forward or something like that. I don't really know. It's, it's going to be interesting. But uh, let's go ahead and do these playoffs. First round, Toronto Raptors. Simulate round here. See how this goes. If you guys can see. And uh, it's not looking good. Okay, we just lost in the first round four games to two. So, absolutely hate that. It's like you have like a great regular season and then you just lose. But we got 30 and 13 from Sabonis. Tyler Hero at 27. 9 for 21, not great. Uh, then 7 for 19 from Miles Turner. But, you know, I definitely see the route of development for this team. Like, it's not so much needing to like sign a superstar. Like, the team is there. The formula is there. It's just about completing the process throughout the video. So let's simulate the rest of these playoffs here and uh, get to this next offseason. I don't think we have any major contracts due. I could be wrong about that. Uh, Damian Lillard, Finals MVP. So before we actually move on, I'm actually very curious how Oladipo did over on the Miami Heat. And uh, here we go, here we go. So he averaged 21 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. So definitely a comeback season. Hopefully the man does get his money out there, right? Because uh, he definitely deserves it. But overall, I'm still happy that we got Tyler Hero. So uh, we are going to go ahead and go to the draft lottery. No, we're not because we we're not going to be a lottery team. Let's go to uh, the NBA draft, though. We will go to that because, yeah, we were a playoff team. So no idea what pick we'll actually have in this case. Uh, okay, we have the 25th pick. I guess we'll see what's uh, available for us here. So we got Isaiah Todd, not a bad player. But even like bench-wise, we don't really need a lot. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Trade Finder and I'm going to look at, just out of curiosity, just out of curiosity, Miles Turner and a first round pick and just see what's offered up to us, man. You never really know, right? You never really know. So uh, we got some really solid trades being offered up, but uh, nothing I really absolutely need. That's not a bad trade right there. I mean, Aaron Gordon used him off the bench. Vucevic is a starter for two seasons, but I think I'd rather just keep uh, Miles Turner. Jamal Murray's kind of interesting. Just because, you know, we could use Brogdon off the bench and that would be fantastic. Like, I would have no issues with that whatsoever. Um, and Jamal Murray, you know, brings some more scoring to the starting lineup. Obviously, you lose a little bit of defense. We got DeMar DeRozan, Tobias Harris. We got, ooh, D'Lo out of it. D'Lo, Clint Capella. All right, you know what, man? I'm actually really intrigued by this Jamal Murray trade. Four-year deal. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. But he's only 24. And we already have, like, a slew of front court players. So, I'm going to go ahead, guys, and get approved at the starting point guard spot. We're going to go ahead and do this right here, man. going to switch it up a little bit, right? Instead of just, you know, keeping, uh, keeping the whole team together. I think it's boring after a bit, right, man? Okay. There we go. Jamal Murray. Uh, we also get Randolph Mack. Yeah, I don't want you on my team. Team player options. Uh, we got Aaron Holiday. Go guys back as an 80 overall. Tyler Hero and Edmund Summer bring all those guys on the team. Uh, qualifying offers, I guess we'll give it to TJ Leaf, although I don't see him playing really at all. And then moratorium period. So I, I might got a little money out here to spend. Um, I got a feeling we are going to need, well, let's see, if Jeremy Lamb is still around, yeah, he'll be back with us, uh, small forward. So I don't really want to spend money just to spend it. 
uh, the team is pretty much like intact. Like obviously there's a few roster spots on there, but uh, we should be good to go here, man. I am going to go ahead, simulate the NBA season. I don't really, I mean, I guess Dougie McBuckets for $7 million ain't too bad. We'll give him that contract. I don't really see him playing at all, unfortunately, but we'll see. We'll see what happens there, guys. But uh, yeah, man, I'm going to go ahead and simulate two at the beginning of the regular season and kind of check things out here. Okay, so I decided to go with a small ball lineup to start off this NBA season, guys. We got Jamal Murray at point guard, Malcolm Brogdon at the two, Tyler Hero playing the three side, uh, TJ Warren at the four, which you play a lot of at uh, on the Phoenix Suns. And we got Sabonis at center as an 88 overall now, man. So hopefully he can continue his all-star success right there playing uh, what I would say is probably more of a natural position for him. Bench, you know, we got Goga. I was a little reluctant to start a rookie. Or, or I, I, it's not really technically a rookie, but, uh, you know, he hasn't really got a lot of games under his belt. Um, then we got Aaron Holiday as backup point guard. Jeremy Lamb at the two spot. And then Dougie McBuckets at the three. And, of course, we got guys like TJ Leaf on the lineup. Javel McGee, just in case you need some, you know, third string type of guys out there. But, uh, yeah, man, I love the starting five. Honestly, I actually am kind of happy we made the trade of Miles Turner for Jamal Murray. I think this team is going to be shooting the lights out. So that should be great. System, we got the uh, three-star grit and grind. There probably should be better than something better. We got perimeter centric. I'm kind of leaning towards that already. Uh, seven second would be nice. We got balance. You know what, man? Got a lot of quick young guards on this team. Let's do the seven second offense. That feels right, man. Okay. So this season, we were like, what, like 46 wins last year? I am predicting probably about 54 wins this season. That kind of feels, you know, kind of like the realm of what we could do. So let's go ahead, simulate this next NBA season and uh, see, you know, if this Pacers team get back to the playoffs and hopefully make a run for the championship. Okay, so final game of the season, guys. We got a record of 53 and 20. I think I actually did predict 54 wins. So let's see if we can get this final game right here. Uh, let's simulate with Simcast. See how this one goes, man. Let's see how it goes. You know, give this team a good luck streak going into the playoffs. But uh, yeah, I'm really liking how this team has improved over time. And uh, yeah, definitely gonna have to go another season after this, you know, whatever the result might be, if we win a championship or not. Uh, but we actually get kind of blown out in the final game right there. 25 points for Tyler Hero, though, which is a good sign. So uh, that he continued to improve. We got Luka MVP, Bull Bull Rookie of the Year, Kate Cunningham, six man, uh, Anthony Davis, defensive player, and DeAndre Ayton as most improved player. So good for him. Uh, All NBA first, All NBA second, and All NBA third team looking like that. Okay, so we are, this time, I don't know if you guys can, I'm probably in the way, we are the second seed in the Eastern Conference, and we actually got the Miami Heat in the first round of the playoffs. So a little bit of a robbery right there, assuming that Victor Oladipo did resign with him, but. Uh, this time, Tyler Hero, now an 85 overall player, only the age of 22, guys. 20 points, 5 rebounds per game, shooting about 15 times a game, 46% from 3. So, assuming the defense is that we're looking at like the next play, Thompson playing simple, man. And then uh, Jamal Murray, 20 points, 7 assists, fantastic numbers. Sabonis at 18, 14 rebounds, and 1 block. So, we absolutely love playing that center spot. TJ was great at the 4. Malcolm Brogdon, you know, just a good assist player out there that does a little bit of everything. And uh, Goga, in his first real season, 12 points, 8 rebounds per game. So, yeah, definitely a lot of good things can happen this NBA um, playoffs. Let's go ahead and simulate rounds, see how this goes. I'll let you guys know, actually. And, uh, yeah, we're down 2-1, down 3-1, 3-2. And, once again, we just lost in the first round of the playoffs. Man, what is up with 2K simulation? And the thing is, is that, yeah, Jimmy's there. Uh, bro, um, Bam's there, but... Uh, Oladipo did not resign, guys. Wow, okay, that really sucks. I'm curious. Can I look up? Okay, I can't even see like what team they're on. I can't go to the player finder currently. But uh, yeah, we just lost in the first round yet again, man. Like, 2K has been on something as of late. It just doesn't matter. Like, it, it seems like it knows which teams it wants to do good. And it doesn't care what players are on those teams or whatever. They're going to allow those teams to do better. Like, it makes no sense, man. Like, so many videos in the role, this has been happening to me. But uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to simulate to the end of next regular season because I do think, you know, I didn't think we were going to win the championship this season, but I do think this is the way Tyler Hero keeps on progressing. That uh, And plus, I think we bring back the majority of our players. We should be able to make a good run at it next season. So, yeah, I will see you guys the end of next season with probably the same team. If I do make a change, I'll let you guys know. Okay, so we managed to get to 59 wins on the season, guys. I mean, this is the year. Like, this is the year where everything has to come together for us. Uh, looking at the roster, I mean, we got 390 overalls in 89 and 87, 86, 86, 84, 82. The progression in 2K is absolutely whack, man. Like, players should not be getting this good this fast. But, hey, that's how it goes, right, man? So, 
but at the same time it's like every single other team out there definitely does the same i'm trying to look for oladipo real quick because i'm curious what team he actually made it to i'm not seeing him at all maybe he's a free agent but no oh, here he is he's on the uh clippers oh okay joined up with Kawhi and Montrez not a bad looking squad right there definitely don't want to see that team defensively but here we go one more game against Atlanta simulate through date and finish with a W on the season I'm waiting for the man uh, okay we got Nate uh, McMillan as coach of the year so that's great definitely means we probably got a top seed in the uh conference and really the entire NBA so yep we are the first seed and we got Miami the team we traded with in the beginning but uh let's go to these players stats on the season and Tyler Hero, now a 24.5 rebound, two assist type of guy out there, man. Uh, still on his rookie contract, only 23 years of age. So I definitely don't feel bad about trading for him now, right, man? Uh, Jamal at 20 points, Sabonis at 18 and 13 at only the age of 26. Just really entering his absolute prime as a player. So here we go. Let's do these playoffs. Hope for the best and forget the rest. Simulate round. At least get past the first round, guys. Come on, man. Y'all got 60 wins. Okay, we get them four games to zero. That's how it should have been last season, man. That's how it should have been last season. Alrighty, uh, next up, yo, what's uh, Tyler Hill? 17 points. Next up, Milwaukee Bucks. Simulate around here. And come on, guys. Ah, okay, we get them in a seven-game series. Oh, man. All right, 32 and 12 for Sabonis. Acumpo, 35 points. All right, we got my Detroit Pistons. Let's see what their uh, team's looking like these days. Uh, oh, they got uh, Anthony Edwards, Malik Monk, Ball Ball, Blake Griffin. He's got to be old. He's only 34. What kind of contract does he have? Damn, he still paid that man all that money. All right, here we go. Here we go. Simulate round, guys. And get them in another seven-game series. We have last year's NBA champs um, here in the NBA Finals, the Trailblazers. I'm happy we at least made it this far, though, right? So if we lose, it's fine. Simulate rounds. And, of course, man. Of course, 2K has to break my bitch-ass heart. And make me lose in another seven-game series, guys. Hey, we made it to the finals. You know, I, I I don't judge success rebuilds based off championships. I judge it based off what the team's looking like. And what I see is a team that made it to the finals, lost in a you know a sad game seven with a thirty you know age thirty ninety overall 26, 27, 23, 23. All these guys in perfect position to compete for the next five six years, guys. So anyway, hope you all did enjoy this video. Uh, Pacer fans, I'm sorry if I offended you in any way by training away Victor Oladipo. Keep in mind, guys, this is a channel where I like to do videos based off rumors around the NBA. It's definitely a rumor. I'm not saying it's set in stone or will happen. We might never see that happen in any way. But hey. It's just all for fun at the end of the day. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to drop that like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And peace out, my friends.